All right, welcome back to another episode of Always Doing Something. Today I'm going to <clears throat> try and change my upper ball joint. Always something, you know, you never know what goes on. So I tell you to watch, always something going on. We're always doing something. So today I'm going to attempt to change my upper ball joint. All right, so <clears throat> here's my problem right here. It's all ripped, the whole back of it's gone. It's all ripped right here. And it's making this weird noise. And I know that's what's wrong with it because it ain't supposed to look like that. So, so what I'm gonna, oh look, it's even pushing against my shot. Oh man, yeah, it ain't supposed to look like that, that's for sure. So I'm going to take it off and attempt to fix it myself I hope yeah that is not let me show you the other side what it looks like wow maybe I should do both sides look at this side too it's pushed up against here that ain't no good well Yeah, looks like I'm out to do both sides. Which that sucks. But, you know, story of my life though. When one thing breaks, all seems to go to shit. Yeah, it's definitely not supposed to be right there. It's gonna be a hard one to get off, I bet. So, I'm gonna grab my tools and start taking her off. Look at this poor little finger can't win. Yesterday I got a blister right there. Just a minute ago, I got a splinter right next to that damn blister. This finger is not a happy camper. What is this? This is a 19 millimeter for the top one here. Dang, I need to get some tension off of this. All right, well, I'm gonna tie a piece of rope from here to here, so if this thing gives out, it don't go nowhere. All right, All right so now I'm going to take off this bracket right here. Here, I'm going to tap it a couple times, see if it pops out. I got to go to Craig and O'Reilly AutoZone, one of those anyways, to go get the parts still, but... I think I'm gonna go get the tool. Cause I don't think that sucker's coming off. Probably gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars again, which I don't really got. So that's why I gotta try and do it myself. Dang it.
All right, well, we're back. I tried to take this off just like the lower ones. I tried, but it failed. So I'm gonna just put it all back together and take it to the shop because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And that's what it looks like when you can't do it by yourself. But I never claimed to be a mechanic, nor do I ever want to be one because I don't know anything about it. I'll stick to working on the little RC cars. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. Leave a comment because we are always doing something. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day.